Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to create math tables in R. So I want to be able to uh, replicate some math tables, the multiplication, division, plus and minus tables. So to remind ourselves of what this looks like, and um, you're all familiar with this, here's the five times multiplication tables. Now we can see, uh, obviously, that five multiplied by one is equal to five, five multiplied by two is equal to 10, and so on, and we're doing this for 12 values. So can we use an iterative statement to create this for us? So you can see what we have to do. We have to perform 12 operations here from one to 12, we need to take a value, 5 in this case, multiply it by a value from 1 to 12, and display the result as you see here. So let's see if we can use a for statement to replicate this particular multiplication or maths tables in this case here. So to start off, I'm going to need a value. So I'm going to use the store distance vector called num, and I'm going to start out with a value of 5, as we saw in the example there. So let me recreate this first of all. So in my example here, I'm going to create a, the five times multiplication tables. Now, obviously we can change this value for if we want to do nine times or 10 times, we can change this. Or you could also prompt the user for the value. I'm just using a straightforward assignment here. So next thing uh, to remind ourselves what we need to do is we now need to display that value. So that'll be fairly straightforward. So in the first of 12 reference statements, I want to display the value of num. Then I need a symbol to indicate multiplication. So in this case, I'm going to use uh, the letter X as a piece of text to indicate multiplication. I then want to, and we can see we need to do this 12 times, display a value from one to 12, as you can see in the output here. Then I can need to illustrate an equal sign. So I want to put this in as a piece of text. And finally, I want to perform a calculation to show what five times one, what five times two is, and so on. So you can see that each piece of output has five elements to it. The original value, the X indicating the operation used, a value from one to 12, the equals to sign to illustrate the results, and of course, the actual result itself. So I want to start this out by writing a for statement. So the for function, for, open and close brackets, I'm going to use a counter called i, the operator in, and this time I want to put in a sequence of one to 12. So that's going to be one colon 12. So this statement here will allow me uh, to perform an iterative statement in a sequence of one to 12. Once the 13th value is reached, uh, the for loop is going to be exited. And I need my opening and closing curly brackets after that. So in our studio, just put in the left curly bracket. It will put in the right automatically for you. Press enter to give me a blank line, line seven in this case. So here is where I'm going to uh, want to output the five elements. Just a reminder, I want to output the five elements that make up each line. And of course, I want to do this 12 times, changing the uh, sequence from one to 12 on each iteration and also changing the result. So I'm going to use a print paste function to do this, to build my output. So print, paste, and inside in this print function, let's build up our five elements. So the first is the value num. So we can see in our table that um, um, num in our case is going to have a value of five. Then we need to have a symbol indicating what math symbol is being used here. So this in my case, I'm going to use X. I could use an asterisk, but I'm going to use an X to uh, indicate multiplication another comma. After that, then, I need to have the values from 1 to 12. Now, we already have those in our in our for statement. We're checking the values for i, which will have values from 1 to 12. So we need to just put in the value i here. So on the first iteration, it's going to have a value of 1. On the second, it's going to have a value of 2, and so on. Then we saw we need to have an equal sign. Let me just bring it back up for a moment in case we lose track of ourselves here. So we've put up 5 is the value num. X is the piece in the uh, inverted commas as a text. I is the value one in the first iteration, two in the second and so on. Next, we need to add in equal sign. So I'm gonna use that as a piece of text. So double quotation marks and the equal sign. So this is not going to perform any mathematical operation as because we surround it by apostrophe, uh, double quotes, it is just treated as a piece of text. Another comma. And then finally, then we need to perform the calculation. So this is multiplication table. So each value of num, needs to be multiplied by a value. 
and in our case here we want to multiply it by the values on the first iteration by 1, on the second iteration by 2, and so on up until we get to the 12th iteration we want to multiply it by 12. So uh, we're storing those values on each iteration in the, in the variable i, so I'm just going to put the value i in there. So num multiplied by i uh, should give us our output. So let's go ahead now and run this. And we can see in the console that we get our tables replicated. If I bring back the um, um, notepad version of them here, we can see that we have displayed and recreated the maths tables for multiplication for any value that we want to choose to do. So we've checked that and it's okay. I can go back in and back to my code. I can now change the value. So let's say I want to do the nine times tables. So reset num to nine and don't need to make any changes to the for statement, run this and we will get the nine times tables and you can see that we've got those nine by one is nine, nine by two is 18 and so on. So we can do this for any value of num. Let me just change that back to five for the moment. What if I want to do uh, the addition tables? So we go through our for statement again. I'm not going to change line six because we want to do this 12 times in, as in maths tables. Uh, print paste, num is, uh, has a value of five, so we're going to keep that. We can see we have the letter X in here and that we're using that in our output. You can see in the output in the console, we're using that to indicate multiplication. So if we want to do addition tables, I need to change this to a plus sign. So that will show a different output. I is the values one to 12, so I'm going to leave that as it is. Equals is going to stay the same. We don't need to change that, but we do need to change the calculation. Uh, instead of doing num multiplied by one, I of course need to change that from multiplication to addition in this case here. So that should allow us to recreate the, um, uh, the tables. So uh, let me uh, reset num as five and run the for statement. And in our output, we are getting our addition table. So five plus one is six, five plus two is seven, and so on. So what I recommend that you do now is experiment with different values of num so that you can understand how the logic of this loop works. Um, if you want to uh, create maths tables with more than 12 values, let's say one to 20, you can change the sequence there from one to 20. And also in this section in here, the five elements um, of the output that you can see in the console, experiment with that. Why not try the minus tables? Why not try the division tables uh, and so on? So that's how you create simple math tables in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.